Aloha everyone, it's Jazz and today I'm going to be making the Q&A video which was highly requested and I feel bad that I haven't gotten time to make it but now here I am, I'm free and I'm really excited to just answer all of your questions and help you face some of the problems you're going through. Question time! Cremega Mari, my Q&A. I hope this isn't too awkward for you, but do you get crushes on boys? And have you ever had any boyfriends? I would love if I would love it if you answered. Sorry if it's an awkward question. I love you so much. You're an inspiration to me. Aww. I will say that I'm pansexual, and I mostly like people for their personality. I don't care if they're gay, bi, trans, whatever they are. Mila Nava. I love how you face the world, Jazz. You are my inspiration. My question, do you still, do you still, you the blockers? Are you still on the blockers? Am I still on the blockers? P.S. You are beautiful. Thank you. Um, yes, I'm still on the blockers. I was on it for two years. I started when I was 11 and recently, now I'm 13, and recently this year I, um, got a new blocker implanted. It lasted for two years. It blocked all the testosterone or else I would have, like, a hairy beard right now, which I don't, so I'm thankful for that. Ninja Nick 121401. My question is, what is your favorite part of making the mermaid tails and why? Um, I think my favorite part is just knowing that it will benefit other people and that the money will go to the Trans Kids for Boring Rainbow Foundation to help other transgender kids like me. But I will admit my favorite part of the process probably is painting. Study of Sonder. Nay. I guess I would ask, do people around you, have you found your friends accepting and happy? I've often found younger people tend to be better, and I'd be curious as to how your peers' friends took it if you're out to them. As I've been in the media a few times, a lot of people in the area and at my school know that I'm transgender, so I'm definitely not stealth, which means that I'm like hiding the fact that I'm transgender, and I'm really open and I'm proud of who I am. and. I'm only friends with the people who will accept me for who I am no matter what, not what's between my legs. Comedy Gamer Kid 3000. How do you feel when people judge you? Um, you know what? Honestly, I don't care what people think. The only opinion that really affects me is my own opinion on myself because I determine the way I am, not anyone else. And if someone says something hurtful to you or makes you feel down on yourself then you know you just gotta stay positive and keep moving forward because they might not know much about you or they might not understand the situation and they don't realize how hard it is. Adam Dockery, for the Q&A what tips do you have for transgender kids with unaccepting parents or parents that won't let them be who they are? I'm a boy trapped in a girl's body. I'm 14 and recently told my parents my parents but they won't even let me be tomboyish they think I'm just confused about puberty or that I'll grow out of it I don't want to suffer any longer as a person I'm not but my parents don't seem to care you know that's that's a really tough situation I haven't really gone down that path since I've had such a supportive family parents who were there for me every step of the way but to those kids I'll just say you know you want to find support from someone else. If your parents are, aren't going to be there for you, then you have to find a friend or an adult or peers who will just, you know, love you for who you are and will accept you. Um, as you get older and you can make your own decisions, you could also begin to transition if that's what makes you happy. And I know you might be thinking, well, I have to suffer through puberty then. And I mean, I feel awful. I just... I can't even imagine going through puberty of the opposite sex and I'm here for you, I'm fighting for you, you know, that's what I do every day. I just, I hope you could feel safe and happy and I hope you could feel the love of society. Ella Snyder. Jazz, this video was so amazing, inspiring, and wonderful. You are so eloquent and elating. I'm so happy to be your friend. She is one of my friends from camp, and I love her so much. Mwah, Ella. All right. Um, hmm. I want to be a part of your Q&A, so here's my question. Would you like to take a ride on my big green tractor? <laughs> yes, Ella, definitely. 
I hope to see you soon. Love you. Everyone, please subscribe to Ella on YouTube. She makes the cutest videos and she's really awesome. So click that button now. A lot of people told stories about them being different or them not fitting in. Just be yourself, you know? If people aren't gonna tolerate with the fact that you like dolls still or that you want to be a girl or that you want to be a boy, then you just have to ignore them because you have to do what makes you happy and what you feel is true to your heart. Jason Shook, what advice would you give to parents who are struggling with accepting their child as transgender? Those parents have to learn to love their child because they're not going to have anyone else like them. You should tell them, would you rather have a dead son or a living daughter or a dead daughter and a living son? And that'll really hit them. I know my mother, she would step in front of a bullet for me. And that means so much to me, and I hope every other parent can do that as well. Because that's what a parent should do, give unconditional love to their child no matter what. Problems. I don't have a lot of friends. I have depression. My parents hate each other. I'm always left out. Sounds like you have a difficult life. I mean, I just, you know, you just want to stay positive. Try to find that really good friend. You know, there was a moment when I was depressed as well, and... You just have to think happy and think about the good things that will happen if you stay positive. Your parents hate you, each other. I mean, I don't really know how I can help that. I mean, that's their personal information. If something, maybe there was conflict, I mean, I'm sorry if that's happening to you. And I am always left out. You know, maybe try to be included. Don't annoy people, don't bug them, but you know, just try to be like, hey, what's your name? And just be nice, be yourself, be happy. I noticed you were wearing makeup. Um, I don't like wearing makeup because then I'm not me and I feel like a different person, but I just want to be me. I actually never wear makeup because I pretty much agree with your statement, but I think if it builds your confidence, then that's okay to wear makeup. I mean, I really don't have any strong opinion on it, but I wore makeup for the YouTube video just because it was on YouTube and a lot of people might see it. so. I don't know, I wore a lot of makeup. I really don't like wearing makeup though that much. Have you ever told a boy that you don't have girl parts? If so, what was their initial reaction? Um, I make sure that I don't date a guy unless if they know that I'm transgender and are okay with it because that's really dangerous to be in that situation where someone may get really mad and even attack you. I know, I know really sad stories where people have gotten killed just because they didn't tell someone that they were transgender. When are you making part two on your DIY mermaid deal? I know, I know, I haven't gotten a lot of time to really work that out because I have many tail orders I'm working on and then I have summer where I just want to relax and have fun and then uh, it's just a big messy jumble. Um, I'm trying my hardest though, hopefully I'll get it in soon. There was a lot of setbacks with the scale mold so I'll have to like redo it and all that so I'll show you guys the process once I get the video. Abigail Owen, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? I've faced this question many times and right away the answer I said is I wouldn't change anything about myself because not because I'm being cocky or anything but this is who I am and I'm proud of who I am and this is me and I'm I'm transgender and that's okay i'm okay with that i mean it makes me a stronger person a more confident person and it just makes me myself so that's what i say to those people who think i should change something about myself or are asking if i should change something about myself nothing because this is me some people say that i was too young in transitioning Alright, so you're telling me there's no reason that boys gravitate towards trucks or that girls gravitate towards Barbies? I knew who I was from an early age and you can't tell me who I was because you don't know what's going on in my head and how I feel. And you can't define me, I define myself. It's time that the video is going to be closing up now and I really appreciate that you watched. I'm really sorry if I mispronounced anyone's name. And I just hope you enjoyed and I hope you I helped you out or you learned more about me. Hey look, the glasses again. Bye.